So new this morning, one of the largest floral parades in the country kicks off at 10 o'clock this Saturday. Fox 12 will bring you live coverage of the Grand Floral Parade and among the marching bands, equestrian groups and gorgeous floats will be dignitaries in vintage cars. Tony takes one for a spin in today's Behind the Wheel. What are we riding in right now? So this is a 1919 Ford Model D touring car. Wow. And built by your dad, bit by bit over many, many years. That's right. He brought it home in five gallon buckets when he was about 15 years old. Wow. Woo! <laughs> I mean, we're going like 25, but I feel like a daredevil. <laughs> Spencer, walk me through the list of things this car does not have that most modern cars do have. Uh, oh, my. Uh, well, turn signals, for one. Uh, you do have headlights, but no high beams. <laughs> doesn't have an oil pump, doesn't have a water pump, doesn't have a fuel pump. Wow. It's all gravity and thermosiphon well, and splash I action. Mean, I don't mean to alarm you, but it doesn't really even have a dashboard. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's it like to drive a vintage car in a parade? Because you're going much slower and you're kind of going a longer distance. Indeed, yes. So uh, you have to definitely be careful about, you know, not running over the people in front of you. <laughs> and that's kind of one of the things that... We appreciate that, Spencer. <laughs> You're much more connected to the road. I mean, everything is very tactile. You can feel every crack and crevice and bump. And yeah, but you must love that. Yeah. It's really nice to be able to, to be one with the road and the machine. So this weekend, you'll be driving this, the Grand Floral Parade. When you go by, what do you want people to feel or notice about the car when you head down that parade route? You know, there are some things that do deserve to be remembered. You know, if I can make people see this and go, oh, wow, what a cool, cool old car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just seeing the people's smiles on their faces is what makes it worth it to me. You're not just getting from point A to point B. No, no, no. You're traveling. All right. Well, this weekend, we're going to be traveling down that parade route. Look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks for the ride, Spence. Oh, my pleasure. Let's hear that horn. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. You would hear horn honking much less that. often if, you, if everybody had to reach down and like, <laughs> right. find yeah. the thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. oh, that That's really so cool. And I yeah. mean, even without all the things like seatbelts, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, he's allowed to drive it on the sure. road, yeah, right? Yeah, There's like a, yeah, you I mean, know what I love about this, rule. though? When we see the parade every year, we see these cars. Right. And now you give us a little bit of the backstory, and it's nice. We're going to have a different perspective when we see yeah. the parade this year. And we'll see him again. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that's, you know, Spencer's uh, father and mom actually they have several like probably three or four in the garage there oh, wow. in various states of, of restoration uh so it's kind of fun to sort of watch that process yeah. but his dad sort of been a lifelong uh, lover of vintage cars and built that car kind of wow. by hand and brought it home in five gallon buckets when he was 15 years that old is unbelievable. makes me think of a johnny wow. cash song about just taking oh home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah one piece at a time yeah. one piece at a time plus a so snazzy outfit Saturday. for driving too i yeah, like uh, that he, too. he dresses period piece when yeah. he drives he was kind of was going low key on that one yeah but on saturday it'll be full mm -hmm. you know yeah. regalia Checked out. <laughs> i love right, it thanks it. tony